This year marks the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI. But what is the BRI? How and why did China propose and launch the BRI? And why has it been referred to as a path of happiness that benefits the whole world? Back in 2013, Chinese President Xi Jinping, for the first time, proposed building the Silk Road Economic Belt in a speech during his visit to Kazakhstan. Weeks later, President Xi proposed building the 21st century Maritime Silk Road in a speech at Indonesia's parliament. The Silk Road Economic Belt focuses on bringing together China, Central Asia, Russia, and Europe, the Baltic, linking China with the Persian Gulf, and the Mediterranean Sea through Central Asia and West Asia, and connecting China with Southeast Asia, South Asia, and the Indian Ocean. The 21st Century Maritime Silk Road is designed to go from China's coast to Europe through the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean in one route, and from China's coast through the South China Sea to the South Pacific in the other. Together, the two eventually became the Belt and Road Initiative. The BRI draws inspiration from the ancient Silk Road, which was established more than 2,100 years ago. Zhang Qian, a Han Dynasty envoy, made his journey to the west from the city known as Chang'an, paving the way for an overland route linking the east and the west. In the centuries that followed, the Silk Roads experienced a boom, both over land and at sea. Great adventurers, including China's Zheng He and Italy's Marco Polo, led sail ships and camel caravans along these ancient routes. The BRI focuses on promoting policy coordination, infrastructure connectivity, unimpeded trade, financial integration, and closer people-to-people -people ties through extensive consultation, joint contribution, and shared benefits. The BRI is committed to open, green, and clean cooperation. It aims at high standards, sustainability, and improving people's lives. Over the past decade, the BRI has evolved from a general framework into concrete projects. It has been welcomed by the international community, both as a public good and a platform for cooperation and has achieved solid results. By June 2023, China had signed more than 200 BRI cooperation agreements with more than 150 countries and 30 international organizations. The initiative has brought nearly a trillion US dollars of investment, established over 3,000 cooperation projects, and created some 420,000 jobs in BRI countries. The BRI is set to be more significant to the world. Just take infrastructure as an example. According to the World Bank, by 2030, BRI transport infrastructure, if fully implemented, is expected to increase global real income by 0.7% to 2.9% by that time. BRI-related investments could lift 7.6 million out of extreme poverty and 32 million out of moderate poverty. China is also striving to make the initiative more sustainable and higher quality. Take ecological protections as an example. China has reached environmental cooperation agreements with more than 30 countries and international organizations, launched the Initiative for Belt and Road Partnership on Green Development together with 31 countries, and formed the Belt and Road Initiative International Green Development Coalition with more than 150 partners from 40-plus countries. 
China will soon host the third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation, a grand event to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the initiative. The forum will serve as an important platform for all parties to discuss high-quality Belt and Road cooperation. See, See you in Beijing, Beijing at the third Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation. cooperation.